Got a little bit of lag going there. I saw candy. Steve Burke guy keeps. Oh my god. Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with another installment of the Try Something New in the Waning Days of Modern Warfare 3. And the Bryson 800 just got a massive buff on the 1st of October with the release of Season 6. Every damage range, 20 to 25%. It's a big one. So I decided, why not build one? and see what happened. And here's how I built it. First, I started with the sawed off mod. With the sawed off mod, you can see that it significantly affects the recoil. Accuracy though, for the hip fire is much greater, 17%, 3.8 degrees per second. Don't worry about that number because the effective damage range is 5.4 meters. So you're gonna be shooting up close and personal. And what kind of damage will you do? Well, a headshot's 120, upper torso 110, lower torso 102 and upper legs is 100 so it's going to be minimum two shot gack on a fully healthy enemy but if an enemy is physically damaged more than likely it's going to be a one shotter if you take a look at the mobility it's decent at 5.2 meters per second for the movement speed and the sprint speed almost at six meters per second ads movement speed if you decide to aim down sight is 3.4 meters per second left to right bouncing around like an electron that's been released from its orbit and is bouncing inside an empty train car. The ADS speed is a slow 392 milliseconds, but we're not going to be ADSing. We're going to be shooting from the hip to the lips, and the sprint to fire speed is a decent 108 milliseconds. The Demo X50 tactical pump is a must-have because that increases your rate of fire by 14% to 187.5 rounds per minute, which is exactly the same as the newly buffed Bryson 890. The X10 full choke and that increases the damage range slightly and it impacts the ADS 2% you won't notice it's already going to be slow the 29 and a half inch rifled barrel increases the damage range up to 5.4 meters with the minimum damage range at 35.6 meters bullet velocity at 358 almost 360 meters per second which puts the hit scan range at 18 meters so any enemy inside of 18 meters if you can reach them past the 5.4 the shot's going to be instantaneous it's going to be a hit scan Let's have a look at the Bryson 800 newly buffed Agacamole machine on the shooting range. One, two, at 10 meters. So even at 10 meters, that's almost double the range, is going to be a two shot GAC. One, two, three, four, four so far at 25 meters. Five, six shots at 25 meters so it's best to keep it 10 meters and closer you can see it's a very quick gack there as i said if the enemy is wounded they're gonna fall and speaking of falling let's fall out and go to the field of honor and see how the super buff bryson 800 shoddy did for grandpa what it did to grandpa sometimes very shot enemies let's go all right, let's get into this. Now you're gonna hear yeah, Grandpa did, uh, yapping a little bit because this is from my stream on Sunday night. I have five other players with me, all good stream friends of mine. Of course, I've never met them personally, but I've grown to really like them and admire their gameplay during the stream. So I appreciate them showing up. I appreciate all of you who come to my streams and those who join the Air Crew Lounge because. Uh, these videos are minimally um, well let's just say they're about a dollar fifty a video so the people on the stream really help out with joining the air crew lounge I appreciate that gotta have a, a pelt to show grandma a newbie or she's gonna make me get up and cut the grass and do other home type chores all day so let's get back to the bryson 800 a massive buff to this weapon so those of you running around with the dual reclaimers actually grandpa was able to take a bunch of those people out because they just couldn't believe 
how accurate and quick this gun is compared to what they're carrying. And there's Snoop jumping and shooting Grandpa in the ear. That's that's rude as can be. Let's throw out one of these. Now I understand you can kill the IMS. Can you, if you know how to do that, give Grandpa a little comment below and tell him how to. There comes Snoop again. No, that wasn't Snoop. That's somebody else. I forget who that person is, but not Snoop. Average soldier, you can see that if you get within that five meters, even a little bit further if the enemy has any wound at all, that you're going to absolutely serve chips with the guacamole there. Now this, as I recall, these couple of games, Snoop was on our team. So I'm a big Snoop fan again. Usually Snoop plays for the other team. Still love his music, but... Uh, I try to gack them, that's for sure. This was a bloody engagement, as they usually are with uh, streams and the people that join up. They're good players, a lot of them, all of them. And there's one of them that tends to do something called teabagging on Grandpa, and he's on my own team. Get rid of that. So you can see people just disappear. They're coming out firing. And they think that they've they've won the engagement, and they just the, uh, disappear. Grandpa always goes for B. It's an enemy that dive face first into the barrel of the Bryson 800. Quick pull of the trigger deletes that enemy. There we go. God, we had money yet yeah, until we get B. You can see Grandpa fights his way now. I'm not going to talk about how many kills I get in kill confirmed or domination or hard point. And the reason being is it's how many caps you get, how long you soak. And I realize that on some teams, some people, that all they do is go for kills. They say, oh, but I'm a slayer. And you need slayers and hard point, for example. Well, yeah, I mean, the pros have slayers. But they have assigned roles. If you're just out there solo you don't have an assigned role and we barely have assigned roles for the six of us that play together or actually it's more than six probably more like 10 to 15 people that regularly play on the streams so we do have guys that do like to soak grandpa is one of them and we have guys that sometimes often keep the enemy off of us more and more, though, they're transitioning to everybody trying to soak because we play the small maps, a lot of shipment only, uh, the five maps of shipment, which are really cool. And you've really got to collapse on the point. If you have somebody running around thinking he's gacking the enemy to get streaks or whatever, which more and more streaks are pretty worthless in this game because you can have the hacked IFF strobe, which completely is in, makes you invisible to things like turrets, gunships, VTOLs. Here we go. I think the reload's fast enough on this Bryson. I had some converts on the stream. Some guys tried it out and they did it spectacularly. They're good players anyway, but once they pulled out the Bryson, they were serving chips with a guacamole. You can see we, we won that one. And uh, everybody, like I said, we were all teamed up. So that was a lot of fun for Grandpa. So we decided, I decided to try another because I wanted to get some content for this video. So this is the very next game. Grandpa wants to get P1 and P1 on shipment is probably one of the bloodiest pieces of real estate in all of COD. 
So if you're worried about a KD, don't come to P1. But also, I prefer you not play on my team. I've never met Candy. There's a wrestling pro. What's she like? It seems like everybody. So we do have strategies as a group that we talk about. Don't worry about if you're brand new to the streams or brand new to COD and you want to play with us. You're welcome to. And those strategies are for Dom, get A or C and B and don't go. If you have, for example, A and C, don't go in. I mean, I'm sorry, A and B, don't go into C because what you're doing is you're flipping the spots. And I always carry a secondary pistol. That's the P890. Just did a video on that. It's an awesome weapon. And if you want to get beyond that 5.4 meters regularly, you better have something like that in your belt. There's a there's a VTOL, and it didn't bother Grandpa too much until he was standing next to somebody who didn't have the high, hacked IFF strobe. I think it's what, the modular assault rig or whatever gives you two, two pieces of gear, two lethals and two tacticals that you can replenish. I think that might be the best vest, at least for my play style at the moment. It's Grandpa after the Purple Veiled Nun. Fighting our way back oh, to almost tied. Somebody who can take that thing down. I can't. If you can hear me speaking, I continuously say, "Let's let's collapse on the point, boys." Of course, uh, I'm giving instructions to people that play better than I do. So, <laughs> it's only what it's worth, right? All advice is worth the price. Which guys, normally is free. You can see that Who's away the, the Bryson 800 is a reaping. There we it's are all on kills. the point, which is a it's good thing unless somebody comes deaths. in and deletes okay. all of us. And we've gotten pretty far behind here. But we have some tenacious teammates. Right. Stick I'm someone, already. shoot them for good measure. I'm at new one. I'm at new. They have one there. And the lobby is getting increasingly more difficult because we'll win five, six, seven in a row. Somebody will have 130 kills on the team in a game or something like that. And all of a sudden we're playing against heaven knows who. I'm dead. I'm in. I'm out. Oh, my God. Grandpa's always going for the hard point, always trying to fight my way there. Jack as many people off of it as possible. Get on to it, start soaking, and hopefully I'll get some some buddies. <laughs> yeah, that lasted less than a second, but I was able to stick them with a thermite. This time we're going to start with the handgun out. See a dot, gack it. See a red dot, put a red dot in his forehead. Right back on it again. And now I'm protecting a hard point that's no longer the hard point. Kind of crazy. Get the thermites in there. I may die to my own thermite, but I'll get the point. We could tell that this other team wasn't really interested in playing the objective. They were on it long enough and kept us off it long enough to get a lead, a significant lead, but we're coming back. And every time we'd come back, then they'd get interested in getting on the hard point. I don't think they wanted to necessarily lose. So this is, like we said, bloody. The other thing I've noticed is that there's a lot of aftermarket steroids in use. One of the guys on the team is a very good player. There's a long shot there. The guy was probably already physically, not emotionally, damaged. Could have been emotionally, I don't know. We get the wrestling pro. We get the letter jacket dude. All right, I'm behind and right now we're talking about we're only we're only Gotta 10 back so we we could bring this we could reel this game in i don't usually do this grandpa tries to do some reaping get on the hard point pull out the 
pull out the P890. We're only five behind, guys. And go, go to work. We're running out of time. At this point, though, Grandpa's tweaking just a little bit. One, two, no, Get on two. Uh -huh. And then Grandpa dies. So we just need to maintain this hard point. Three seconds left. We could win it. I'm on the hold. We're down by three. We're on the hard point. Let half a second remaining in the game. There we go. And as soon as they clear us off the hard point, we're winning. We want. Right. There it is. That was a good win wow. for the team. I'm God, fortunate playing hard. with you, good players. And I, a lot of hard. people had time. That was so difficult on the hard point. On so anyway, hey, join our streams if you feel like it. And I appreciate you watching this. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Yeah. Cheers. Well, you said peace. Third, where did you